This is my dog. Uh, he is mine, uniquely mine. No other dog will look like him or behave like him. We are using everything in our power to convince you this is a dog. So he's cute. Uh, my dog is cute. Your dog may be evil, maybe a Rottweiler. Why did I buy him this squeaky ball? I don't like the squeaky ball. And you can uh, teach him stuff and you can tell him off. No. Him, no, I don't like it. Expressions are a little bit different in Fable 2. They're um, highly context sensitive. They've got AI in themselves. So if I use the same expression on the same object, it modifies that expression. So no. notice it changes that expression. I do it a third time, just to be extra sure. Um, and he really gets it. We, all the expressions can be used on any character in the game uh, and on the dog. And some of those can lead to interesting behaviour. For example, um, I can. Uh, you gonna get up? Yeah. I can use uh, this expression. And scare him. Uh, I can even use this expression, which is very funny in the UK. I found it's less funny in America, which is this. Uh, and he reacts. I want him to be alive, man, and he's got to react to what I'm doing. And these are little play things, okay. But you, well, I promise you, even the most die-hard adventure will not be able to resist playing around with a dog. The only thing that you have to do with your dog is heal him if he's hurt. Now, despite all our efforts and all the amount of energy we put into the dog and his mind and his, his, all the quality we put into him, you may be one of those players that simply don't want a dog. Fair enough. If you don't want a dog, then you do this. Just run away, man. Leave him. That's uh, harsh. Leave him. Leave him behind. If you really don't want a dog, man, then just leave him. And he will, he loves you so much, he will do everything. He will drag his bleeding, bloody body through the mud and through all the danger to try and find you. And you may well find an hour after leaving him, he won't do this every time, eventually he'll give up, but for a few times, he'll follow you, and he'll, you'll hear, if you're in a pub somewhere, drinking and flirting and playing a pub game, you'll hear a scratching at the door, the door will open and this bloodied mess of a dog will come in, and everyone will go, ah, what, who would do such a terrible thing to a dog? And that will have been you. And that, your reaction that you all just gave there, means I win. Because he, if you care about this dog, and you really, at this point, I hope that you want me to do this and heal him. Um, and you, know, you want him to be all happy again. That's where I win. If you end up caring about him, then I've got you.